Saturday against the Giles County Bobcats. Lincoln County High School Falcons brought probably their best game of the season, but went down in the final seconds, 63 to 61. If a team got any points for hustle, Lincoln County would have finished on top, playing hard for the 32 minutes. A big difference in the game came at the line. Giles County shot 24 free throws. The Falcons shot eight. Lincoln County was up 13 to eight at the end of the first quarter. With four minutes remaining in the second, LCHS was up 22 to 12. But the Bobcats got on a run, not in the game at 22-22, with 2.17 remaining in the period. Xavier Talley Hyde nailed a three at the buzzer, and it was a 27-27 ball game at the intermission. Lincoln County regained the lead early in the third on a basket by Austin Grimes with six minutes on the clock. The Falcons maintained winning the period 15 to 10 and were up 42 to 37 going into the fourth. With 31 ticks remaining in the game, it seemed the Falcons were on their way to a win up 60 to 56 with possession of the ball. But the turnover bug bit and consecutive miscues put points on the boards for the Bobcats. Down 63 to 61, the Falcons had a shot at the time. The buzzer missed its mark and the Cats finished with the win. The court, now let's go to WYTM's Brian Neese and Michael right Cotton for some underneath. of the play. To Brian. <laughs> Brian. He's too far underneath the basket, but gets it to go. Ties the game at 29. Not often that you can reach back from the baseline and take the reverse layup and get it in and not have it swatted yeah. in your teeth. So good job. And here comes the Falcons running with the basketball. This will be Bledsoe. Underneath feeds Brian. Plays it. Brian. Man working the fast break to perfection. Good job, Grimes saw it coming. He took off running with all speed. Tally High connected with him, good job. And Lincoln County gets the rebound. This will be Jones, he'll be Tally High. As we dip under 520 left here in the third quarter. Lincoln County leads this game 31-29. Near side, Gene, open up underneath is Tally High. Falcons ease back up by four. Get down! Get down! happen, and they do. Gene goes in, reverse layup. Good, Gene. Scoots out 35 29. 437 left in the third. Sometimes it's better left than nothing at all. That's it. Tally Hyde goes in, puts it up no good. Jones skies through and gets the rebound. Get on him! Jones back to Gene. Back to Monk. Underneath, there's Boyd wide open. Boyd! 42-35, Falcons up to seven. I'll tell you what, the intensity right now the Falcons are playing with it is impressive. Up top. up top it comes to Monk. Monk's thought of a three, instead feeds Hall underneath, goes in, lays it up, scores the basket. Falcons are really good. Oh, well. Oh, 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 working against pressure. Brings it across, over to Grimes. Grimes, back to Tally High, over to Jones, three is no good, gets his own rebound, they'll take it all the way in, a runner off the glass, Jones gets it over to Grimes, 6.55 left in the game, Falcons with the basketball and the lead, Jones, left side face, Boyd goes in, lays it, Boyd, He can't guard anybody off that high ball. He's tired. He is, yeah. so epic. He's tired. And their deep bench. Oh, and it's made a big one. Yes, it has. Same thing with the girls, actually. Jones with the basketball up top. It comes to Monks. Monks underneath. Pete Smith lays it up. Four goals. Five minutes up in eight. Time off. Now it's loose on the floor. Mad scramble for it. Grind gets it. Calls timeout. And now we have a technical foul. This one will be against Giles County. It's against the player. I think Bledsoe. The official is trying to sort everything out. 217 left in the game. They won this half. They were three or four in the first half. Jones, first one. Yes. Three point Falcon lead, 54 51. Jones will have another one. Jones now at three points, second on the way. Good. The way ball gets easy look, and that's what they do. Yes, sir. 57 53. Falcons up four. 140 left. As good as this game's been, boy, you don't want to lose it on something like no. that. No, I mean, that's, that's horrible, isn't it? 
you know, it, it, but I will give Giles County the credit. They did exactly what they need to do. They brought, they know that that press that they allow uh, makes Lincoln County force turnovers, and, and they forced a turnover, and then forced a turnover on two possessions, the five-second call being the second one. Now they're, they're up by one. Uh, 30, 10, uh, 15 seconds ago, we just said we got to hold off. Now we got to we got to probably score the last shot right here. Two to tie, three to win. Got to get the ball in, though, because you got no more timeouts. On top, it comes to Jones. Nine seconds. Jones near side to Tally High. Eight seconds. They hand it off to Jones. Got to shoot it. Two seconds. Tally High the buzzer. No good. And that is how this one ends up. Final score tonight, Giles County 63, Lincoln County 61, we'll pause 60 seconds, come back and wrap it up right after this, time out. For the Pirates, Trevor G finished with two, Tally High with 16 points, Shelton Smith with two, Ryan Hall with four, Tyler Jones with five, Austin Grimes finishes with a, a 20, and Fred Boyd with 12, giving 61 points, shot 48% inside the arc, 38% outside, 75% at the free throw line, only six of eight. Falcons come away losing this one by two, 63-61. Uh, Falcons outscored 26-19 in the fourth quarter, and that's the difference. Hard fall game here tonight. Falcons just come up on the short end. But you go back and look at the last time these two teams played, uh, a much different team on the floor tonight for Lincoln County, and the effort they gave tonight is probably the best that I've seen all year long. Completely different teams. It's, it's daylight and dark. We were over there. Uh, we were down in the second quarter and, and pretty much out in the second quarter almost, definitely by the third quarter. This one, it was all the way to the wire. You didn't know which way it was going to go. The Falcons led a lot of the game. Uh, the intensity they played, not just offensively, but defensively, uh, forcing turnovers and making things happen. Great ball game. Uh, proud of the Falcons despite the loss. Tell you what, this effort beat some teams in this district. Definitely. Most that's going to do it for us here tonight. Uh, we appreciate you listening in. Thanks to uh, Michaela for getting us on and off the air here tonight. Thanks to Miss Rachel here for uh, bugging me here at the break, but that's okay. I like those glasses you got on here. Love them. Final score here tonight, the boys game. Falcons lose it 63-61. to Everybody have a great rest of the weekend. We're going to kick it to UT basketball. Have a great night. We'll talk to you Tuesday night in Shelbyville. Good night, everybody.